What's up, you guys? It's Dem from Citrus Flex Studios, and we're back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about SD cards and uh, how SD cards can really hinder your workflow if they get corrupted. Now, first off, we want to talk about what SD cards are. SD cards are essentially secure digital cards. They're essentially little small solid state drives that you might have in your camera or any other small device. Now, SD cards came to fame in the early 2000s, late 1990s early 2000s uh, when the uh, first digital camera came out they were extremely popular back then and I remember back as a young warthog <laughs> trying to figure out which card that I wanted to buy based off of the budget that I had now back then you had like a one gigabyte card you're talking hundreds of dollars <laughs> nowadays you can get 120 by 28 gigabytes worth uh, 32 dollars or under thirty dollars for that matter, especially during this Christmas season, and so that's what essentially what I did. I I ended up getting an SD card that had one hundred twenty eight gigs. I figured that this was you know the Christmas season that uh you know you got the Black Friday deals and all those stuff, so certain things go down in price. I figured this was the time of season to buy and upgrade my SD cards from the lower sixty four to a one twenty eight gig to support you know higher codecs. You know, more memory coming into the camera, raw this, raw that, and maybe even some 4K stuff. But I ended up buying this verbatim 128 gigabyte SD card. Um, it is a U3 card. It's supposed to support 4K video and faster speeds, you know, read and write speeds. So when you're transferring it from your camera to, you know, uh, to the computer, it's better than the, uh, the the slower ones that I have. And also, when the camera takes the image, the amount of time it takes to process. And then also for video, how long the video clips are. So I was I bought this with that intention. It was the time of the season. Low price, but uh, nevertheless, I was starting to film. What I'm doing right now is a big review on my Godox softbox, and uh, definitely it corrupted on me. So I put it in the camera, I start filming, camera recognized the card. I'm assuming the camera had the you know DCI folder and the miscellaneous folder in there for the ADD, and it said EOS ADD on it, and it worked. I didn't put it into the computer and have EOS ADD come up as the directory. Um, title, but I do know that it was recording something on the ADD, and um, I was recording at least about 60 gigs worth of information until it corrupted. Now, you might be saying, when did it corrupt? How did it corrupt? What did it look like for those of us who do not know? Because SD cards corrupt in my workflow over the 12 years I've been working probably 25% of the time. So, 25% of the time, I had a car corrupt on me. So it's not that big, but it's noticeable. <laughs> Enough for you to want to back up all your work. So when um, I put that SD card back into the computer, I put it back into the computer, or put it into the computer for the first time, essentially. And the um, computer could not see any files. It took forever for Windows 10 to be like, oh, there's nothing here. And then I... Then I go back and put the same SD card back into the ADD, and the ADD says it cannot access any of the files. I even put that on Instagram. I'm like, yo, I did all this work. Now, luckily, you know, my vlogs are not somebody's wedding, but it was very, very frustrating for something like that to happen. Now, other cards, much like the SD card, uh, you got the XQD card, the CFast card, the CF card, and you got Sony's Memory Duo stick. All of these are the same type of solid state memory that can be corrupted. Any type of memory that you put in your cam camera, you can just go ahead and safe to say that it can be corrupted. No matter if you're using a big red similar camera or Arri Alexa, all the way down to an ADD or a T1i or a Rebel T5 or 3300, 5100, 5400, whatever Nikon has out now, all the way to the Olympus cameras. No camera is impervious from its memory being corrupted when you put a card into it, especially CF cards. CF cards are known, I think it has like 80 pins on the CF card, and you bend back one of those pins, say bye-bye to all that memory because it's going to be hard for not only the readers to read it, but the camera to actually store any other data onto it once you actually bend back one of those pins. It's a really frustrating and sometimes nerve-wracking time in the field when you have a, a digital camera with only one SD card slot. And even though 
manufacturers like Sony and uh, Nikon are starting to come around. Canon is dragging their feet on this dual memory card slot thing. <laughs> Even their new EOS R mirrorless camera full frame does not have two memory card slots. And I know Tony's talked about this before, but immediately when he got it, maybe a week after he had had his hands on it, he started vlogging with it and it just corrupted the card especially with a new format like 128 gigs. Now I know the memory card doesn't change in size, but I've had more 128 gig cards fail on me than 64 gig cards ever. Now I started buying 64 gig cards later um, as, far, as far as SD cards are concerned, but 32 gig cards never really failed on me, but the 128 gig cards always failed on me. And I had a one, I remember like two or three other 8 gig CF cards to fail on me in the past. But I'm saying whether it be a CF card or SD card, because those are the only two that I use, they've always failed on me in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, I don't want to be all negative and tell you, oh my goodness, you got to have dual card slots. But it is extremely important. A lot of people, they don't think about how important it is. Now, since I watch Tony Northup's videos and Jared Pollan's videos and Manny Ortiz and all these big camera guys, Matt Granger, I know the value of having dual card slots in my camera, but I just don't have the camera for that yet. That's why I keep talking about what camera we're going to upgrade to. That's why I like looking at camera reviews and stuff like that, because I want to upgrade to a camera that has redundancy when I when, when I use my SD cards. It has to have, have another slot for me to be able to back it up, because I've been doing weddings. I've been doing high-class gigs. I want to be able to give them my word, and I want to be able to say, hey, I took your wedding pictures, and I still have them after everything's done. You don't want to be that guy that says, oh, I took all your wedding pictures, and I took thousands, and they see them on the back of your camera, and then all of a sudden you say you lose them. And then they're like, uh, well, what happened? We saw them on the back of your camera. Because every time I go out into the field, I'm so, I want to be confident enough in my work to show my client as I'm taking the picture. Because with the old DSLRs and even some of the new mirrorless cameras, we're not able to immediately post to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and stuff like that, and social media. So I need redundancy, so even if I'm not able to uh, have one of my cards work and not be corrupted. I'm able to actually have another card that actually did its job and wasn't corrupted on spot. So that backs up my word. And when you're professional in the field, your word is your bond. No matter, even if you have terrible work, if they like it, <laughs> you are the man to them because you're able to provide themselves something that they can't provide themselves. And that's what they pay you for that intangibleness of your word, your your work ethic maybe, or just your artistry itself. Those are some of the things that they just pay you for. Like I said, even if a cell phone can do better than what you can do with your DSLR, they don't care because you can do something that they can't do. So like I said, guys, I can't recommend this uh, verbatim 128 gig SD card, even though it's cheaper than uh, 128 gigs have ever been. Um, I'm not saying it's the cheapest card on the block. I'm pretty sure either PNY or SD has, um, or SanDisk, excuse me, I said SD. But um, I'm pretty sure SanDisk or Alexar, you know, they all have different brands, but all of them are susceptible to corrupting. This one just corrupted like the day I got it. So that that was what really, really ticked me off right there. But I'm glad it corrupted on me when I was doing my you know videos, which you know I don't get paid for or sponsored for or anything like that. And I can kind of take the blow. And it's not somebody that's trying to sue me over wedding pictures. That makes sense because I only got one car slide in my, in my ADD and I only got one card slot and pretty much any other camera that I have, my old 7D, one card or CF card slot at that. So those are some of the things to think about. Another thing I want you to think about when it comes to the cards and it being corrupt and you being nervous is uh, the brand. Don't get bogged down to one brand kind of like I did in this situation. Like I said, Verbatim always has good DVD disc. I, I rarely ever fail to burn any of their discs, but I'm pretty sure they just got on the market for SD cards. Um, same thing with uh, the new Lexar brand company that they merged with or took over or whatever. That's a whole different quality of card. So even though they have the Lexar name, do you want to trust those new uh, creators of the cards? I mean, they kept the name because they wanted to keep the, uh, you know, everybody knows the Lexar as being some of the best cards. But there's somebody else making them now. So that trust factor with brands, you really have to think about as a photographer. You need to know exactly you know, what brand you want to go with. Uh, I know SanDisk are really good, but I've had SanDisk cards to, you know, fail on me, uh, be corrupted. So I wouldn't get attached to any brand, but 
this is another good reason why we get attached to brands because that brand is equivalent to our name in the field. Like Canon, it becomes equivalent to my product in the field because Canon is the only one that has that color science or Canon is the only one that says has that durability that I can trust with my word as a professional. So those are some of the things to think about. At the end of the day, guys, if you have the ability to uh, back up your cards, back up your cards. Like I said, guys, just watch out for cards. This is just a quick update video. Like I'm still working on the Godox uh, softbox tutorial. Um, it's going to come as soon as it can because, you know, my car corrupted and I had over, what, 20 gigs of information on there. Um, and that was just a B-roll. <laughs> so uh, I do have the audio and I might be able to dub that over, but that video is going to take a little bit more time. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned for the next episode and hopefully none of my cars will corrupt in that time and I can get it out to you in a timely fashion. All right, I'm Demo with Effects Studios. Keep clicking those cameras.